After seven years of development, the new Glenn rocket is finally almost ready for takeoff. Developed by Blue Origin, which is Jeff Bezos' new aerospace company, it has been in the works for about seven years now. Intended to be used as a cargo jet and as a space tourism capsule, the new Glenn is supposed to be a strong replacement for its predecessor, the new Shepard, and will likely be widely reported once it's launched in 2021. So today, we're going to be giving you the inside scoop and counting down the top 10 things you need to know about Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket on this episode of Super Freaky Science. To stay updated on our latest content, don't forget to subscribe. Now in order to understand the new Glenn rocket, you must first understand its predicted flight pattern. That's because there are three main stages to a trip on this rocket. The liftoff, the fairing jettison, and the payload separation. The liftoff encompasses the new Glenn's ascent into the lower atmosphere and is mainly powered by the ship's landing gear. However, once this first stage takes place, the landing gear then breaks off, landing on a cargo ship located about 100 kilometers away from the liftoff position. The fairing jettison stage involves further propulsion, allowing the payload to be guided to its target. Then the final payload separation stage involves the 7 meter long fairing jettison breaking apart from the payload module, thus allowing it to soar over to its intended destination. When all these stages work in tandem, the new Glenn is able to deliver cargo to its intended interstellar targets quickly and effectively. Put simply, the new Glenn is a huge hunk of machinery. Having about two times the usable volume of any existing space rocket, it will be capable of launching payloads over 13 metric tons to geostationary transfer orbit and 45 metric tons to objects at low Earth orbit. This is primarily thanks to its 7 meter farthing, which is located at the top of the rocket, and will be the storage piece used to hold said payloads. As a result, it shouldn't come as a surprise that the two and three stage variants of New Glenn are larger than any rocket in existence, with the only rocket larger than the New Glenn being the Saturn V, which was used in the late 1960s and early 1970s. However, given that the Saturn V was astronomically more expensive to operate than the new Glenn rocket, it seems that the new Glenn will likely have a much brighter future. While most people have come to idolize the Apollo and Gemini missions, what most people don't know is that massive amounts of garbage were released directly thanks to these endeavors. This is because in prior decades almost all parts of rockets were discarded after the mission, and many being allowed to fall and disintegrate in our oceans. Thus, the New Glenn rocket stands apart from many of its predecessors because it's operationally reusable. Most notably, the first stage of the rocket, which is the part that is almost always dumped into the ocean, was designed in such a way that it is completely reusable with minimal maintenance. This is because it contains two wings which provide lift and cross range for the first stage rocket, allowing Blue Origin to control the landing of the parts of its rockets. As a result, these parts can experience a controlled landing and thus not be dumped at the expense of the environment. While many new rockets have new and techie names, Blue Origin decided to not reinvent the wheel by naming the New Glenn rocket after famed astronaut John Glenn. This astronaut turned US Senator was a key member of the original Mercury missions and gained critical acclaim for his famed Friendship 7 flight in 1962 since it was the first American flight to orbit Earth successfully, proving that the US was a serious contender in the space race against the Soviet Union. This mission made Glenn a national hero overnight, yet this achievement was topped in 1998 when John Glenn's ascent on the Discovery made him the oldest astronaut in space even to this day. Going on to retire in 1999 and passing away peacefully in 2016, he truly was an American icon and so it was only fitting that this incredible rocket bears his name. One of the largest innovations of the new Glenn is its landing gear. This is because not only does said landing gear contain wings that help control the lift and flight of the spacecraft, but it also has six hydronically accentuated legs that support and secure the first stage during landing on a moving ship. Allowing for increased stability, this helps ensure that this new landing gear is consistently soft and thus able to retain its reusable status. Unsurprisingly, these innovations have led to this landing gear being heavily tested by NASA, 
and it's been hypothesized that the technology may be adapted to other rockets. However, until the new Glenn's launch in 2021, we just don't know for sure how effective it truly will be. But regardless, it's an impressive feat. And there are plenty of other impressive aspects about the new Glenn, as we'll see coming up in this video. Another one of the biggest innovations in the New Glenn rocket is the nose cone. According to Loren Grouch, the New Glenn's nose has, quote, a diameter of 7 meters or 22 feet, with the cavernous nose cone being so giant that it can completely house Blue Origin's smaller New Shepard rocket, unquote. Yet that's just the tip of the iceberg. That's because the nose cone is one of the most essential parts of the rocket when going to space, as it acts as a shield to the rocket and whatever it's carrying when the rocket breaches the atmosphere. As a result, Blue Origin has a nose that is, quote, the largest contiguous composite fairing ever built, unquote. And it's about 50% more spacious than its nearest competitors. Thus, once the new Glenn comes to market, it will likely give fellow space companies some serious competition. In most businesses, cost cutting is the name of the game. However, with spaceflight usually requiring high quality materials and designs, it shouldn't come as a surprise that this is one of the biggest challenges that Blue Origin has experienced. As a result, in spite of their efforts, the new Glenn project is anticipated to cost as much as $2.5 billion, with the launching and manufacturing facilities alone costing as much as a billion bucks. But because it's a company that is under contract with NASA, we're sure that much of the bill will be footed despite its high operating costs. The mission control for the new Blue Origin rocket is located at NASA's famous headquarters in Cape Canaveral, Florida, with it also being the intended launching site for the rocket. Now the mission control is located inside of the new Glenn's factory in Florida and contains a futuristic looking array of desks and computers that rival even those of the historic Apollo launches. However, thanks to the COVID-19 crisis, this mission control center may remain vacant far beyond the new Glenn rocket's 2021 launch date. Interestingly, the experience that Blue Origin is offering its astronauts is similar to what the astronauts in the 1960s and 1970s experienced on their missions to the moon. You see, in each new Glenn rocket, the mission will start with as many as six passengers entering a crew capsule and then being vertically launched. From there, the engines will burn for two and a half minutes and reach three times the speed of sound before the rockets and crew capsule detach from one another. From there, these astronauts will experience three minutes of weightlessness while enjoying views of Earth. And once this time has elapsed, the capsule will descend and the passengers will parachute out of the rocket, arriving back at home safe and sound. Because of this passenger capability, it's the hope that the new Glenn will perhaps offset some of its costs by allowing space tourists to sit in in the passenger module. Not a bad vacation. While the new Glenn technically hasn't been built yet, it's nonetheless predicted to be the most powerful rocket in existence when it's finished. The BE-4 engine on the rocket is, according to Blue Origin, quote, the world's most powerful liquid oxygen slash liquefied natural gas engine, unquote. As a result, this engine will leave shockwaves in aerospace, competing with both NASA's Space Launch System and SpaceX's Falcon Heavy for the title of most powerful rocket. Yet as with many things, all we can do is wait and see which rocket wins the New Age space race. On a less astronomical note, thanks for watching Super Freaky Science and don't forget to subscribe.